the process of uh, taxpayers accumulating data and transferring that data to the Kenya Revenue Authority is a bit more seamless, uh, has reduced the time taken to actually communicate that data to the KRA. And it has also ensured that the, 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 the data and the information that the KRA has is up to date. And therefore, you literally have a real-time process of interrogating a taxpayer's return, a taxpayer's information, without necessarily having to pull files and manual files and look for data and misplaced data. So all, that, um, all those inefficiencies have been taken out of the system. And now what we have is a much more seamless process process of communicating, of collection, re collection, communication, and retrieval of data. Economies that have done well have gone into processes where they have encouraged and incentivized using uh, less cash and more of either checks, more of the banking system, credit cards. That's where you can now motivate people away from cash towards using the formal inclusive bankable instruments that directly help you tap into the informal sector, which is that sector that uses cash. Some institutions have enabled the tax administration systems to integrate automatically with the, tax, uh, with the taxpayer's accounting system, making it simpler to file a return or prepare the process of filing a return. Countries that have adopted online filing systems have reduced the total time it takes to comply with uh, tax returns and tax filing, and it has also reduced the number of tax payments that have to be done. The main point we need to look at in terms of taxing digital businesses is the principle that profit should be taxed where value is created. Using mechanisms such as the withholding tax regime and seeking out for areas where these businesses interface with the former businesses, you could expand the tax base by tapping into them.